I'm in Fife Head Magdalene Wood and there's a lot of coppiced hazel in here and it uh, looks like it's coppiced about every um, 10 years or something like that. Just the sun coming through the branches is nice. Um, the, uh, the sun is just coming through this clearing. I think there's going to be quite a lot of butterflies here. Lots of big thistles. They're not normal thistles. Well, they are normal thistles, but they're not the Scotch thistles. It's a sort of clearing that's been made through for the um, for the telegraph wires. They've obviously renewed the poles fairly recently and cleared it through. of buzzy bees. There it is. A uh, silver wash artillery I'd say that was. Um, just seen it a few minutes ago and now it's come back again. It's uh, flying down this pathway here. It'd be nice if I got a, a reasonable photo of it. path seems to go out, go on down there pretty straight. It doesn't look exactly inviting. I think I'll leave that for another day. I think I'll uh, go back up. I, think I might be able to go back up a different way. Yeah, it's a good wood for butterflies, though. Glorious beech tree, this one here. It's got its own space. Most of the trees in here are oak trees. But um, a few beech trees and ash trees. Apparently all our ash trees have got diseases now. So the days are numbered. Another beech tree there. Funny old world we live in now. People are so cautious. You know, they won't even say hello to you now. I don't know what they think they're going to do. Oh, peacock there. That's the peacock butterfly, I mean that's why it's called peacock because it has those eyes on its wings. The uh, orange bit there is lords and ladies and then it's all ground elder and uh, actual um, ivy on the ground and then big, quite a few of these big woodland ferns about. This is all underneath the coppicing. I think I'm coming up to the other gate now. This five head wood, it's just a strip of land about, I don't know, 100 yards wide or something like that. Don't know how, how far down it goes. I think this sign will tell me. 
there's a tree, a big fir tree broken off in the wind there. Those trees do get to a certain height and they just get a bit too top heavy. The best will in the world, they're not going to stay up. Yeah, this is where I came before. This gateway didn't have information on it. You had to write into somewhere so I had an opinion on what uh, you thought what happened to the wood. I bet out of the way a tractor's coming. Don't argue with that. turned into a big bale. Well, I'm sure I'll be able to find out more details about uh, the wood from the internet. It's a little bit more than 100 yards wide, but it's not very wide. But it's got all sorts of history. There's a conker tree there. That's a. These are horse chestnuts, these. It's all sort of been pollarded at some stage, and they've got lots of stems coming up, about 10 or 20. And there's a elm there, small elm tree. Oh, here comes a big lorry. This um, cottage here, apparently it was a chapel, little chapel. Right, so now I'm back to the car. Safe and sound. I always like to get back. Right, bye for now.